Hey, it's almost time to get dirty in the mud and to do it all for a good cause. The 20th annual Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation's Mud Volleyball Tournament is almost here. It's about that time. And here to tell us all the details is Phil Provender, the chair of the event. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Kristen. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks so much for coming in this morning. Thanks for having us. Always an exciting time. Love the Mud Volleyball Tournament. I've been involved yep. with it pretty much every year I've been here in Albuquerque. Right. And uh, I think I might have to get money again this year I and think do so. some playing. But um, for those who don't know, tell us a little bit more about the event. You know, it'll be our 20th annual Carrie Tingley Hospital Foundation Mud Volleyball Tournament. It's presented by Albertsons this year. Mm -hmm. We're super excited to have them on board. We have 612 teams, about 10,000 people, playing on 102 courts, which is all right. pretty amazing. And it's all mud. How does that even come together? That's what I've always wondered. <sighs> you know what? There's a whole lot of work that goes into right. that. We've got about 300 volunteers out there, but there's actually plumbing, believe it or not, in the ground. So we plumb those courts. And so no way. we start flooding those about two weeks prior to the event. So mm -hmm. it's good and muddy for everybody. Do you have to do a lot of digging to get? You know what? I don't, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. You let me try to operate a backhoe out there. Didn't right work now. so well. <laughs> <laughs> but someone else it, does it? A lot yes, of volunteers come together yes. for this? Yes. We have a group called Team Mud. We've had mm -hmm. a group of us together for about about 15 years so we all kind of have our designated duties and so we've got a group that that's that's their specialty and they're very good at it fantastic now this has been a successful event for about 20 years now right over 20 years that well our 20th year we've raised over six million dollars we expect to hit 600,000 wow. this year alone and it's it's now the state's largest single day fundraiser that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And you know, and it's so it's, much fun too. It's a lot of fun. Each team is guaranteed five games. So they're out there. They start at nine o'clock and mm -hmm. they're usually there till about two thirty. Yep. And you get to get dirty it's, it's for a as for as you were last year, you remember? I was, yeah. Yes. I had a great time last year. So how important is it do you think for people to get involved in this charity? Yeah, I think it's incredibly important. We've got a lot of programs we fund, whether it's patient and family assistance, we have direct funding to the hospital as well. So mm -hmm. there's lots of different programs that with community involvement we're able to fund. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're doing a very good thing by participating in this event. Yes. And registration is now open, registration right? Registration started. I got to tell you, we've already sold 150 teams, which wow. is way ahead of normal. So that tells me there's a lot of people that want to play this year. So this is going to be an even bigger event. And there, is there the possibility that it could sell out? That you oh, it'll out definitely out sell out. Okay. We typically sell out by around the first week of May. So if you have not mm -hmm. registered, you can call our foundation, 243-6626 or go to CarrieTingleyHospitalFoundation.org okay. and we've got information there. All right, get your teams ready yes. to go. It's right around the corner. You better start signing up. Yes. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you. 